Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Please excuse me for being a little shaky. I wanted to answer some questions for some of my subscribers who are kind of new in auto detailing. Maybe they've been doing it for about a year or two and they've asked me, a lot of them asked me recently, Scott, I notice when you bring us out on the job you tend to be working on very nice well-maintained vehicles before you even get there. How do you attract these customers? Folks, right now we're looking at a, what is this, a Lexus 460? I don't remember, they all start to look the same to me. I can't remember the model numbers. This car, folks, is absolutely pristine. It's a used vehicle, been on the road for a couple of years. But take a look at this paint. Look at the, look at the nice shining gloss on this paint, right? And then I'll bring you on to the other side here. We'll look at the hood. Is this car perfect? God, no. Not at all. But it looks really sweet. It looks amazing. And some people, some detailers can get clients like this. And you show up and you go, oh my God, what am I going to do for this car? This car is already dialed in. I feel like I don't know where to start. I feel overwhelmed. Folks, this is about 90% of my business. Typically, for about 90% of my clients, when I show up, to show up at their homes, these are the cars they're asking me to detail. What I'm doing for this client is pretty simple. We're getting ready to go into the winter months, so my client wants me to do a very light polish on this vehicle, kind of give the paint a little extra pop, and then we're going to put a nice paint sealant to get it through the winter months. I will be seeing this car probably every 60 days going forward. But I want to talk about how do, how do you find these clients because this is about, even if it's a new client and they call me out and say, Scott, I need you to detail my car. Can you do a full detail? I will show up and 90 to 95% of the time, I'll look at the paint and go, wow, the car looks great. I'll open up the car and that's the way it will look on the inside. Most of you might be going, my God, where do you start? It doesn't even look like it needs to be detailed. Well, that's the beauty of how you market yourself. And I want to give you guys a, I don't know if this will help you all, but this helped me in my career. When you first start out, you might ask yourself, well, I want to make 20 or $30 an hour. So you kind of base your packages based on how long you think it's going to take to detail this car. And you want to make 20 to 30 hours when you, 20 to $30 an hour to maybe do this car and it takes you four or five hours. So whatever that is, that's how you come up with your number for your package. Eventually, you want to ask yourself, do I want to make more money? That sounds silly, right? Of course, we all want to make more money. Well, how do you make more money? Is it because you become better and better at, at what you do? Maybe you polish the paint a little bit better than you did a year ago as you move forward? Yes, of course, experience kind of drives up your value. But before that even happens, I want you to start having a conversation with yourself. What am I really worth? This all starts by you looking in the mirror. Folks, I know this sounds so silly, but I actually had to do this in my own career. I said, I don't want to make $50 an hour. I want to make $100 an hour. I want to make $150 an hour, and I want to attract clients that have cars like this because I don't always want to be resurrecting the dead. I don't want to kill myself trying to clean a car that hasn't been cleaned in years. If you price yourself too low, you might have to do it in the beginning, but at some point in time, you want to get out of that rabbit hole and start claiming your worth. Start deciding, I'm worth $80 an hour. I'm worth $100 an hour. Let me tell you a trick. The minute your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul, whatever you want to call it, says, you know what, I am worth $100 an hour. Folks, do you want to know what's going to happen? You are, want, you are going to start to attract people who are willing to spend $100 an hour. And their cars are going to start looking like this. The first step to making any money inside auto detailing or any business for that matter, in my opinion, is you have got to claim your worth. Sometimes you can get stuck in a hole. I need to go three years, four years, five years sitting at the bottom before I can raise up a little bit and get a little bit more money. You can take that straight line approach and jump it up quickly the minute you decide what you're worth and you actually believe it to be true. 
If you do not believe it to be true, guess what? These customers will not find you. And if they do find you and they talk to you, it won't be presented in your personality. It won't be presented, yes, in your work as well. It won't be presented in the way you communicate to the client. People who want to make $100, $150 an hour, it typically starts with them. It starts with them looking in the mirror going, I am 100% worth what I'm claiming. And when I talk to a client, whether it's on the phone, in person, that will translate. It will translate confidence and all of a sudden you'll get clients that go, look, I need you to dial this car in. Okay, it looks pretty sweet. I can make it look better. And if the client looked at me, this client didn't ask for a price, my customers typically don't. But in the years past, when I decided I wanted to make more money and I started to attract more and more clients like this, they would say to me, car looks pretty good, Scott, right? And I'd say, yes, how much to dial it in? This is a $400 job, sir. Without hesitation, I would say it was $400. And it's going to take me three to four hours to do it. If I don't hesitate, I believe myself, I claimed my worth, my client would write the check on the spot and never question it. Folks, I know it's a little bit of a ramble, but I do want to help some of you younger guys or maybe new guys in the detailing business. A lot of you are asking me, how do I raise my prices? It can be difficult to raise prices. That's why I tell a lot of guys that call me, try not to start at the bottom. It's hard to go up in price, but you can always come down. But at some point in time, after you kind of get your feet wet, you're getting phone calls, you're getting referrals, start claiming your worth. Start absolutely looking in the mirror going, I'm worth 80 an hour, 100 an hour, 150 an hour. Whatever you decide and you feel to be true, I promise you, those clients that are willing to spend that money will come to you and you will get that money. It all starts with you. I love you all. I gotta work on this car. It's gorgeous, right? It looks amazing. This will not be cheap, folks. I don't show up at people's homes and just do a $30 job and be out of here in an hour. I'm gonna be loving, gonna be compassionate with the paint, I'm gonna polish it, I'm gonna get some nice protection on it, I'm gonna to prove to my client there's tremendous value in what I do, but he already knows it. He already knows it because of the way I communicated to him. The things that I bring forward through that communication and also he was referred to me by people who were willing to spend that kind of money in the first place. So sometimes it's like Billy doesn't want to like piss off Johnny because Johnny referred me to Billy. Billy just goes, hey, if Johnny was willing to pay the price, I'll pay the price. Isn't that amazing how it works? It starts with you. Yes, get your feet wet, get working hard, get some referrals. Then look in the mirror and say, I am ready to take my, my business to the next level. It all starts with you. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.